Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here and welcome back to our video. So in this one we're gonna have Raven with Dark Metal cards. We're gonna have Constantine with uh, Twin Blades. And we're gonna have Swamp Thing with level 9 Scythe. And we're gonna start off by fighting Boss Atrocitus. Bro, something that pisses me off about so many bosses in the sword specifically is that they restrict a lot of things. Rage Resistance. Rage Resistance. Immune to Dots Damage. I mean, I'm fine with restricting my teams if you're putting a fun mechanic that they have to play around and other teams benefit more than that, but those limitations are kind of lame. Uh, but yeah, I think I think we can do this. I need to be careful because that Atrocitus can do a lot of damage and I don't want to get my Raven damaged. Let's get a super move with Constantine and maybe get his super move out. Yeah, I think we can wait for him to do super move so we don't have to worry about that later. He's super move Swamp Thing. He's dead, but we still get the shield. Now let's get him in the corner. Oh, my bad there. Oh, boy. Okay, okay calm down. I don't want Raven getting too damaged. Because other than losing darkness to kill me, I don't have any way of uh, healing myself. Okay, Raven should not get damaged in the future too. So that's fine. Also, if we don't kill him, it's still fine. Because I can just clear with Scorpion and Raiden. But I'm really hoping to kill him here. No, it doesn't look like we're gonna. The progress we're making is very slow. And it will get better in the last minutes. Oh, kind of, kind of pushing close that Raven Darkness. No, so far it worked. So far it worked. We don't lose it. Oh, starting to look a bit better. Go a bit safer on that Raven Darkness. Okay, I think we got this actually. Okay, last Raven tagging. Come on, Constantine. And Dark Metal cards randomly disappears, but I think we still have the damage despite that. There we go. The trust was down. Yeah, for, for, for a few moments, I really did not think we could do this. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have Harley with Dark Metal cards. We got EPI with uh, Puppet, and we got Girl of Steel Super with Sights. So let's get this going. Also, uh, I want to address something. You might see me in a lot of videos randomly wearing a hoodie or not wearing a hoodie. Uh, the thing is, it's not cold in my house, okay? I don't need to, worry, uh, to wear a hoodie for eating purposes. However, if it's sitting at the, the back of my neck, sometimes it annoys me. I put it on so it no longer annoys me, but sometimes it doesn't annoy me, it's, it's something random. That's why something sometimes you randomly see me with a hoodie on, sometimes not. There's also a pillow on the chair, which is something I'm not really using that much, but at the same time, if I, if I remove it and it's not there, it's pissing me off that it's not there. So it's real weird. Oh, he dropped that bomb. 
We have a chance to to uh, reflect it. Do we, do we take our chances here? Oh, I think we broke a uh, solar shield. Come on, I went enough for a special two. There we go. I would love Girl of Steel Supergirl so much more if she didn't push the enemy back with the special two. I mean, if she didn't push herself back from the enemy, excuse me. Okay, now does she survive a super move? That's the main the main concern here. Push yourself harder. I guess we're not gonna find out yet. And honestly, uh, it doesn't matter if she survives it or not. Because we got all the damage buff pretty much, or almost all the damage buff. Okay, we got all of it. Now let's generate some power to activate the EPI puppets. We're kind of running out of time here. Mainly because I had to be a bit more careful. Okay, next TPI third special is gonna be guaranteed infinite power. Okay, let's get a couple of these on. Not sure if we can kill him, but hey. Oh, actually, actually. Actually, we can definitely kill him. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so she's gonna have dot resistance. The Mr. Freeze special 2 is hazard dot, so we're gonna try Mr. Freeze with Puppet here. We're gonna try Black Adam with Scythe and Zatanna with a level uh, 7 puppets. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we have no chance to one shot here, but we can definitely put her in range of um, getting killed by other teams. Bro, I have no idea what what was that combo on Black Adam there. That was weird. I just want to get all the percentage all damage done here. Okay, one more special two, and that should be infinite power. Also, that's a lot of damage I took there. Ah, uh, get get back in there. Can you get frozen? I would really appreciate that. But you can't. Yeah, that's a bad start already. Okay, we got her. Let's get a bit of a buffer of negative effects. Super move. And now get the Tana in there. Get all the percentage shell damage with the Tana too. all the damage buff, of course. Okay, we're done. Super move too. So we get the Mr. Freeze passive maxed out. Okay, 30 stacks on Mr. Freeze passive. That's what we like to see. Now we just spam this. And see how much damage we do. Which is not gonna be much. That's super move available. I think Mr. Freeze pop it. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not playing this that much. But I'm pretty sure he stops every single super move from being done. Just by pressing special two. Now we got one more minute at our disposal to deal damage. Yeah, to pull this off, first of all, you need to play it better than I did. If you want to get a 2 billion damage. And secondly, we need a higher star rating, Mr. Freeze. Mine is only four stars. 
A higher star rating Black Adam wouldn't be too bad because he does a bit more percentage deal damage. It's one of those fights where you're trying to pull every single bit of damage from every single character. Like this. This is not a free to play friendly thing. It's, yeah, there was a lot of talk of oh, new players can't use Beast Boy Puppet. This Puppet, Mr. Freeze? Me asking you to do. You do have a good performance with this team, nah, bro. This is one of the last things you would want to max out as a free-to-play player, because it takes so much to get to the point where this does 2 billion damage. Getting 2 billion with this is one of the most pay-to-win free-to-play teams, if that makes any sense. Ah, but yeah, how do we do 600 mil here? Okay, so we got a little bit of a funny situation here. So Scorpion's passive, I think it's this one. No, it's this one. Uh, ignores uh, dot immunity. No, 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 it's, it's this one. Where is it? I'm 100% sure it ignores dot immunity at some point. Oh yeah, here it is. Ignores dot immunity. And she doesn't have dot immunity, she has dot resistance. So if she was immune to dot damage, we would probably deal a lot more damage here. But what I'm gonna do is gamble that even with the dot resistance, this team is probably gonna be strong enough to kill here. Hopefully. What I should have realistically done is just do some percentage all damage at the start. And then went into the Mr. Freeze Papa team, like each time is the death stroke or something. But it's too late for that. A bit of an early scorpion tag in here, now we're gonna have this awkward situation where I wait for enough power for my third special. Bro. Thank, f thank for the god killer stacks, cause that would have killed me probably. Okay, the dot damage is pretty good, actually. Despite the terrible start here, I think we're gonna kill her. That was the dot damage from Scorpion, so the Raiden dot damage is going to be a lot better. Definitely a bit lower than what you would usually expect, actually. You can definitely feel that dot resistance. Bro, she... She beats me in a jump attack contest here. Yeah, we, we won't kill her if the, the whole fight goes on like this. Okay. Okay, 2 minutes and 20 seconds in, that was the first good tagging of the match. Why does she beat me? Why is she... Why does she have a better jump than Scorpion? Okay, now he got her. Maybe I'm not pressing it fast enough. But at the same time, if I'm spamming it, you might do tap attacks instead of jump attacks. Okay, that's great. One more tag and this should be fixed. Okay, okay, this went well. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, let's kill boss Robin here. We have Batman on the ground with God Killer. I got Robin with Puppet and I got Arkham Knight Batman with Sights. For passive stats. I'm pretty much gonna ignore his mechanic and uh, hope I can kill him before he does enough damage to me so I don't deal damage to him. Because if you're below a certain threshold you're no longer gonna deal damage to him. But the God Killer reduces the, the dot damage you take from that hazard by a lot. So we should be fine here. That's also a reason why I have uh, Arkham Knight Batman. 
It's the only thing that he does over John is the fact that he gives increased defense and... Oh, my bad there. That was terrible. And that wasted a lot of time. You might as well use a third special. Okay, we might as well... Even though the Batman of John Hazard is not active, we might as well just... Finish the percentage all damage early. Got blinds. Yeah, he does have probably no damage to me. We're, we're gonna be fine here. And Batman Drone is dealing quite a decent amount to him. Okay, you can tank this. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at the rewards and disclaimer here. I'm gonna be mad if I drop Robin King because I don't need him on the main account. I desperately need him on the secondary account, but so far I've been dropping him on the main account in the secondary account. Nope. Nope, we can't have Robin King there. And let's see what we got over here. Oh, I got Vixen. I mean... If I didn't have her max, max out, wouldn't be a bad drop. But yeah, let's move on to the last fight on the main accounts, I think. Okay, so here we have Beast Boy with Puppet to deal the damage. We got Classic Wonderman to give me crit damage. And we got uh, Manta to uh, make me go instantly into infinite power. I would call this the best Beast Boy team within reason. So we can drop a raven in there, we can, we can do a bunch more stuff here, but this should be enough, uh, you shouldn't need more than this, you honestly don't even need classic wonderman here, if you need her somewhere else, just, just drop whatever in here. One of the strong points of Beast Boy is he's not really dependent on a team to do damage, he does benefit from a bunch of teams, Definitely, but he doesn't have to have certain teammates to enable him. Okay, for the hits, now we're just gonna spam the third special for the rest of the fights. We're gonna get a lot of damage now when we can keep the 40 hits. Somebody pointed out that the dot duration on my... Um, Secondary count beast boys can load, so I might be um, I might have not upgraded that. So we're gonna see if that's the case in a second. But you might be confusing it when you see the main account fights with the dot damage from the Manta passive too. That also might be a situation. But yeah, there we go. One minute and forty seconds left. Let's move on to the secondary account. I'm gonna use Beast Boy on the secondary account a bit later, but just letting you know the the path the third special is actually maxed out. And like the duration on it is actually very low, generally speaking. You just apply a lot of them and that's where you see so many dot values. Actually I lied, we're gonna use Beast Boy the first fight here, because I wanna test something out. So I got Manta on the secondary account. I don't even remember honestly where I dropped him from. I think it was a random I have him at 5 star, uh, now 4 stars, I think I dropped him from Soul Rays at some point, but he's gonna enable me to get um, uh, 2 negative effects, which is instant activation of Puppet on Beast Boy. I mean, unless it misses the burning effect on level 8 Puppet, which hopefully will not happen. Then we got my boy Brainiac with Puppets. I wonder if we can make up for the fact that we don't have all the crit chance and crit damage that you would have on a full gears Beast Boy by having some lethal. Damage. We'll see how it goes. So, plan is we activate Puppet with Beast Boy and then we tag Brainiac to quickly stack all, all of his fast. Okay, that's infinite power. Let's do a couple of third specials. Make sure we build a good buffer of negative effects. Because Brainiac's got a level 1 Puppet and... 
Even with the two negative effects from Manta, we might still lose infinite power with that. His Bring X special ones are very slow as far as animation goes. Not having lethal chance on Beast Boy is fine because Brain Egg is gonna give him his lethal chance anyway. Okay, Manta tank this, thank you very much. Oh, he didn't die. And we didn't lose the infinite power. So far, it's a great start. Okay, might as well super move here. We're seeing some pretty decent values here to start off with. I'm not sure how much exactly Brainiac is helping. Because I think the... Um, I'm actually not sure how much is the best I got on the secondary count with Beast Boy. I think it was 1 billion damage. With Gearless Beast Boy on the secondary count. I think that was the peak performance. And yeah, now we lost all that uh, combo. We're no longer gonna keep it. So the damage is going to decrease by a lot. But we're still getting lethals every single hit. So that's something. Yeah, not sure. I'll have to check how much was the peak performance I got on my Gearless Beast Boy. On the secondary count and so we're, we're gonna compare the results a lot of the times the lethal damage from brainiac at least you're using beta club since seems useless sadly but we'll see Okay, how much damage is this? Okay, it's 971 mil. Let me dig up the video and see how much I did last time. Okay, so it was 113 mil. But in this team I had uh, also Bane, which gave me crits. And having Bane in there would have given me more damage, but would have made this harder to pull off. And this is just slightly better. I mean, yeah, this seems like it's slightly better, but it's not by a huge margin. Oh boy, I would have loved to have a use for Brainiac's lethal damage. And I might keep using this, because hey, it's a bit more damage, but it, it's not conclusive. This could be down to, to anything, like we, we crit a bit more here than we did in the last one, even though we had Bane there. I don't know, it's not a huge improvement though. I guess you here have Batman Drowned with God Killer. Got John with Sights. So yeah, let's um, let's get this going. I need to kill that skill stack in Sub Zero. Okay, we're not we're not real fast at taking damage here, which is never a good sign. And he's for sure not gonna use that special one on John. Because it's it's a four cost special, it's almost a guarantee he'll not get to that point in the first dagon. I think that's also something I might wanna keep in mind in the future, depending on if um, I wanna open the fight with Batman, John or John. Can the enemy get to special one actually? As if it's a 3 cost one, they probably can get, there's a chance. You might as well super move here. Now let's see if we get the damage, we probably do. Oh, what? At least he attacks me when I'm frozen. I think there was a Sub-Zero boss at some point that 
wouldn't really attack you. Uh, it, it's the one, I'm not sure from what soul raid, it might be from the Mr. Free soul raids, but it's the one where you get frozen if, if you hit him, you got the meter that builds up and that guy when you get frozen, sometimes he just takes a look at you and doesn't do anything. And that would be the smartest thing to do for the AI, but thank thankfully that doesn't happen. Oh boy, we might not kill this actually. Didn't realize how long it took to get John killed. I hate Chaos Dragon bosses so much. I think there's a Zatanna boss that tags you on a timer, like whenever that timer ends. He's gonna tag your current character for random character in the team, but you can still tag in and out yourself. I think that's the best and the healthier way to, to do Chaos Dragon, because that kind of involves some active thought during the fight over here the only active thought is the team setup and then we, we, we just pray our characters that we want to get killed get killed fast enough and pick up the pace from there yeah he's probably not gonna die here uh question is do i put him in range for a cleanup fight or or i have to use this team again tomorrow Bro, I want to use my Kami Dog Batman in the drown. Like, like, stop trapping her here. Okay, we're getting get some more values from there. And how much? How much health? How much health? Okay, we can clear this with Black Adam with Puppet most likely. Get Pargirl here with Sight for past stats, and we got uh, Black Adam here with Puppet. Let's get this man killed. I'm gonna open with Black Adam here, and we're gonna see uh, if that's better. Because there's no way he does special one on Black Adam, because that's four power bars. Can't even use a special one here, I guess. I'm not sure what the point of that was. Okay, he's still not gonna kill her. And I can't really do anything with this man. I guess I can super move, though I could have done that for free after I activate Puppets. His next negative effect is gonna be specials disabled. Then there's gonna be blinds. Okay, she's dead. Blinds. And we got the infinite power. So let's go ahead and try go ahead and try and kill him. I don't think there's any way we lose infinite power here, though, even if we do, I can just use a special one. If my special is cheaper and be fine from there. Black Adam is one of the most non-problematic characters in the game to get infinite power back on. Like, yeah bro, just give me a sec. Should be dead any second now. There we go. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here I have Joker with Dark Metal cards. We get Raven with um, North Snow Globe, and we get Ikiai with Sight. So let's get going here. Need to be careful with the summons. Need to have darkness freshly reset before any summons get in. So we don't lose it by the time Swamp Thing gets tagged back in.
Okay, that's fine. Oh, he didn't get stunned, that sucks. Ah, uh, we're probably gonna lose darkness here. Let me just try my luck. Oh, we got it. Actually got it here. We have done a number of things like blocking it. Get that refresh on there. Raven can probably tank this. Yep, and we're gonna heal gradually with Nora Snow Globe. Okay, get that resets. Oh, my bad. I think. Oh, we didn't get stunned again. We're getting crazy unlucky with that thing. But thankfully we managed to reset darkness. I'm playing this so much better than I did on the uh, main account. Because on the main account I get stronger characters. But I think we got a lot closer with the timer. We got one minute left here. Yeah, this went pretty well overall. Even though I didn't get the best luck with the stuns. But yeah, let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. And we got... Oh, oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Disgustingly bad. Okay, so we have Black Adam. Adam. With Sight, we got um, this Choking Earth Snow Globe. And we got the sort of Salvation Bitten Blast. So let's, let's get this going. the third special here because we got a combo anyway oh boy I'm so sweaty here combo interrupting her oh never mind oh okay that was the worst possible time I could have messed it up because I lost all the combo. Okay, let's let's squeeze all that percentage cell damage that might be left in there. And we're done. Death stroke in there. Gap close because she's gonna use a special one and we don't want that. Okay, her doing super on me now is fine. Not sure how much survivability the clones will have because there's there's no combo interrupting her and she, if she feels like doing a special one, just as I was saying, there's no escaping that. Okay, let let let, let her kill me one more time. That's fine. Let's get a let's get a second clone in there, cause if we're in the last minute, she also gets a lot more power generation. Oh, of course, she feels like doing a special one there too. Unlucky, unlucky. Stop! Stop that! You're being cringe. Which part of you hurts the worst? Here's a taste of girl power. Your madness stops here. 
Okay, we're about done with kind of all the percentage all damage. Looks like this man had one more. Like, literally one more value. With that being said, that's gonna be the last fight of this video. I don't think you wanna see me clearing a 4 mil health beast boy. So, we're gonna, we're gonna end it here. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. How much damage was this? Pretty decent, pretty decent. But yeah, goodbye.